In this video, I will be sharing how to make these mini chocolate cakes with dairy-free ganache. Full recipe coming up. <laughs> Hey foodies, welcome back to my channel. I developed this recipe for mini chocolate cakes a couple weeks ago and shared it to social media, but I wanted to post a video for Valentine's Day. These are mini gluten-free, grain-free, refined sugar-free, dairy-free chocolate cakes, and they're really delicious. Start out by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 Celsius, and you'll oil two standard ramekins, just about an eighth of a teaspoon of oil, and use a brush to get that into all the corners and cover the edges really well. Get a small mixing bowl with a mesh strainer on top of it and measure into that a quarter cup of cassava flour. This is great for gluten-free and grain-free baking. You can also use brown rice flour or any gluten-free flour blend. A quarter cup of coconut palm sugar, two and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder, one quarter teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of sea salt. And then sift all the dry ingredients to get rid of any lumps. If you have some chunks at the end, use your fingers to press those through the strainer. And if there's a bit of the coconut palm sugar at the very end, just dump that in, it'll be fine. Use a whisk to mix that up and set it aside. Get a slightly larger mixing bowl for the wet ingredients where we'll make the batter and add in one egg yolk. I have not tried this fully plant-based. You can try replacing the egg yolk with a bit of a chia egg, but it will not be as moist. Add in two tablespoons of coconut oil, two tablespoons of avocado oil or any neutral oil, one tablespoon of warm coffee or water will also work, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then just grab the whisk and mix all of that together until it is smooth. And add in half of the dry ingredients and whisk that again until there's no lumps and it comes together smooth. Add the rest and keep whisking until you get a cake batter. It comes together really easily. Divide the cake batter evenly between the two oiled ramekins from earlier. Just do this as best you can. Eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exact. And once you have the cake batter divided, it is ready to go in the oven. This next step is totally optional. If you want to make these extra decadent, add a square of my chocolate almond fudge that I posted at Christmas time. I'll link that recipe at the top of the screen and just push that down into the center of the cake and bake these for 16 to 18 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've put the fudge in, they'll have that little divot in the center. If not, they will be mounded. They will smell amazing. And set those aside. If you want to make the dairy-free ganache, take two tablespoons of chopped dark chocolate, the darker the better in my opinion, add one and a half tablespoons of boiled, piping hot coconut milk, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Take a spatula and just gently starting in the center, start to mix together all the ingredients until you end up with a nice, smooth, shiny, dairy-free ganache. All that is left is to top your mini chocolate cakes with this beautiful ganache. If you want this warm, then make the ganache while the cakes are cooling straight out of the oven and eat it hot, or you can cool the cakes and top them with the ganache and let it set up in the fridge more like a glaze. Your choice. Please hit the thumbs up and let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let YouTube know you enjoyed the video. Comment below and let me know if you make the recipe, how it turns out. Subscribe to the channel. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, and have an awesome rest of your day.